So here's how to test the voltages for the PS3 power supply. First of all, on your little plug here, and this is looking at it with the little ridges on top, uh, you have uh, starting from this side a 5 volt and then another 5 volt then you've two grounds and a three volt. The two big holes here are the 12 volts. Uh, those need to be switched on and you do that by shorting out the three volt and the five volt which is the two end pins of this plug. But first we'll test the two five volt ones on here to make sure um, that we've got five volt. So I put my black lead just on the case of the supply here for the earth and we'll test the two five volts that's the first one yep so they're working on the three volt windows doesn't show on there pretty you could do dropping that a bit but then that's fine so in order to test the 12 volts, I'll put my lead into one of the 12 volt holes there. And I have this piece of wire, I don't know if you can see that, uh, which I'm going to stick in the two holes each end of the white plug to bring on the 12 volt. Um, I'm going to actually turn it off I think when I do that you will find that when you turn the power back on you will actually hear the relay click so there's another indication that the relay is switching on the 12 volt so let's do that you might even hear the click yeah so that's not a problem There's a 12 volt. In fact, so you can do it that way. So, this power supply is okay. So, there's another fault. Uh, this hasn't had the yellow light to before, it has had a new laser put in it, um, which I did. Although I have heard something about a chip on the motherboard, a uh, small chip, an like EEPROM type chip that fails, so I don't know much about that, I'm going to look into that first I think. Anyway, I hope that helps somewhat.